Yorkshire recovered from a poor start to keep themselves on an even keel at the halfway stage of their LV County Championship match with Sussex in Scarborough, a day where Kane Williamson closed in on his first 100 for the home side after surviving a moment of controversy. Sussex were still batting in their first innings at the start of day two and Steve McGoffin and Lewis Hatchett frustrated the home attack by adding 49 runs to their overnight score of 315 for eight, McGoffin having the better of the ninth wicket partnership. That was ended courtesy of a perfect Adil Rashid googly which clipped the top of McGoffin's off stump to send him on his way for 39, the wicket earning Yorkshire a crucial bowling bonus point with the last ball of the 110th over. Rashid then concluded the innings in his next over, Matthew Hobden LBW for a duck as Sussex were all out for 368, Hatchet making an undefeated 20. Yorkshire then made a bad start to their reply. Adam Lythe fell to Hatchett's first ball, dragging a loosener back onto his stumps to go for three. While his opening partner Alex Lees was out for a duck as he gave McGoffin his 52nd championship wicket of the summer with an edge to Ed Joyce in the slips. That left the home side on five for two after three overs, but Andrew Gale then made hay with some attacking shots off both opening bowlers at a ground the Yorkshire skipper just loves playing his cricket at. It is a ground that has been good to his team too, and they needed to be inspired at this point. Gale and Williamson survived until the lunch break and then looked to push on in the afternoon, Williamson beginning to look in fine touch in such an important game for both teams. In 14 overs together, this pair added 52 runs for the third wicket. This was the moment that irked Sussex, an edge from Williamson on 16 at the time that the visitors claimed was cleanly caught by James Treadwell, not a man to claim a catch if he didn't think it had been taken. Williamson did start to walk, only to be called back by Gale, and the umpires then let the batsman stay after failing to reach a verdict, only for Gale, eight balls later, to edge McGoffin behind after making 35. Yorkshire now had much work to do to stay in touch and another edge by Williamson this time definitely failed to get to Treadwell at second slip. The home side would have been pleased to have Johnny Bairstow back after his time with the England Lions where he batted so brilliantly. He continued his excellent form as he and his partner began to develop a much needed partnership. Bairstow was soon outscoring Williamson with an array of excellent cricket shots against a Sussex attack, McGoffin aside, which is lacking in first-class experience due to injuries. Williamson is a man who appears to love a battle with the bat and he played a crucial role in dragging his side back into this already enthralling game of LV County Championship cricket. He may only be 24, but the Kiwi has 34 test match appearances behind him and averages 40 with the bat in the toughest arena of them all. He was perhaps tailor-made for this job as he passed a 50 off 93 balls. Bairstow had raced to his off only 51 and with the partnership between these two moving into three figures, parity was indeed being restored. There aren't too many sights better on a cricket field than watching Bairstow in full flow and he was still there at tee, having carried the total to 206 for three, the England man's contribution being 77 of a stand of 151. Two balls after the restart, his innings was at an end, however. This time Sussex perhaps getting the rub of the green as Hobden won the LBW decision. The visitors would have been hoping that the rest of the final session would also belong to them, but they found Jack leaning in fine fettle when he came in to join Williamson, who was by now into the 80s and looking good to complete an overdue maiden first-class 100 for his county. A beautifully executed shot off McGoffin took him closer, as he added 51 more runs with leaning, who made 33 of the fifth wicket stand. With the total on 257 and the deficit standing at 111, Leaning was bowled by Treadwell and moments later, the players were off for bad light, leaving Williamson on 90. He will look to get to his ton on the third morning, but more importantly, he'll want to see if he can get his side into the lead. Yorkshire will resume on 258 for five, 
110 runs behind in a match which still could go either way.